footprints forever, one to two year old. Babies and young kids grow so fast, so what better way to treasure this time than by capturing their hand and footprints to look back on when they're older. Most children don't mind having their feet painted, some of them love it and some find it quite relaxing but if your baby or toddler isn't quite in the mood, don't stress. Just take a break and try again another time. Footprint painting is a wonderful opportunity for infants to learn. Babies learn cause and effect when they see that their feet are making prints on the paper. They learn tactile and sensory skills from touching the paint and feeling how paint feels on, on their skin and in between their toes. They also develop language, because adults are guiding the infants at all times and engaging them throughout the activity. Cut a long sheet of butcher paper, which will become the canvas for the children's footprints. If you don't have butcher paper, you can simply cut open brown paper grocery bags. If you're looking for a way to treasure your kids' handprints, why not try making some baking soda clay handprints? While your baby is tiny it is the perfect time to take their footprints so you can create a memory of how little they are. Make sure baby is comfortable. This is one of the most important things. If your baby isn't settled it will be almost impossible to. For young babies taking prints while they are all seat might be your best option, but if your baby is awake and alert most of the time make them comfortable and have a few items nearby that might distract them, your baby will need to be lying down in a position which gives you easy access to their feet and they will need to be wearing just a baby vest. For newborn babies the inkless wipe print kits are amazing as there is no ink or paint involved and they are non-toxic and safe to use on babies. If using one of these kits you simply wipe your baby's foot with the wipe supplied instead of using ink and pee. When your baby seems relaxed hold their foot by their ankle over the paper and then press the foot heel first onto the paper. You may need to use your spare hand to gently press your baby's toes down. Remove your baby's foot straight away and take a a look at the little print you have created, clean the first foot with a baby wipe before attempting the next foot or you will end up with ink everywhere, including on your paper, as your baby wriggles about. Just like fingerprints, a footprint is the unique individual marker of the baby. It can be used as an identifier throughout a lifetime. You can take your child footprint till 5 years. This is also a good idea. It will be very impressive to be grown up and have a look at your one or two years old footprint. Thanks for watching. The end.